Hi everyone, MJ here with another SketchUp plugin tutorial. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the Edge Tools plugin. So this extension contains a set of tools designed for doing number of useful things with edges in SketchUp. Let's check them out one by one as fast as we can. First one, Split Faces. This tool allows you to split up faces starting from one of the face's edges. It creates cuts or splits parallel to the edge you chose. You can also choose to type the exact distance in the measurement box to have a cut placed precisely. And then you can add more equally distant cuts just by typing X and the number of cuts you want. You can also split the first cut with equally distant number of cuts by typing backslash followed by the number of cuts. The cool thing is that the size or the shape of the face you're splitting is totally irrelevant. It can be the weirdest shape imaginable as long as the face is uninterrupted, as you can see. Second tool, inspect and close edge gaps. This tool analyzes your model and looks for gaps between edges that prevent you from creating a face when you clearly should be able to. This is a very common problem when working with AutoCAD imported geometry. See that I'm drawing a line over this edge but the face isn't forming. So how to fix this? I activate this tool and it highlights these errors for me and it lets you fix them with just a click. See that here, if we zoom in enough, there's a little stray edge. Hovering over the circle, you'll see what is the suggested solution, and you just need to click on it to confirm the action suggested. Let's check out the other one. Here, if we zoom enough, we'll see that there is a little gap. This also will be fixed with just a click. There you go. Now you can normally create a face by drawing an edge over any one of these edges. Let's check out this next case. Activate the tool, it highlights the problem, you click on it, but this time the problem doesn't seem to go away. Seems like there is no solution within range, it says. Well, the range is actually the maximum distance that's going to be taken into consideration when correcting these errors. You can see its value here in the measurement box. So if a gap, or in this case a stray edge, is larger than this number, the tool will not correct it. So our little stray edge here is 1.52 centimeters. So we need to set this value to a larger number if we want our tool to be able to remove this edge automatically. Let's type two and try to correct the error now. And see that everything is now fixed and you can create your face without any more problems. Third tool, inspect and close all edge gaps. As you can see from the look of the icon, this one is very similar to the second one, but it does everything automatically, without you having to inspect and click on every error individually. You just need to set the range here in this tolerance box and choose if you also want to automatically remove the small edges or not. This is a huge time saver when you work with huge imported AutoCAD drawings that will require a massive amount of time to inspect individually one by one. Next one is Erase Stray Curves. This tool simply erases edges that are not part of a closed edge loop. So every single edge that is not part of a face contour like these here, or it's not at least part of a closed edge loop like these here, will be removed. Next tool, Simplify Selected Curves. This tool reduces the number of edges of a selected curve or even multiple curves. This is very useful for shrinking the size of your model, but it will obviously also make your curves less smooth. So after activating the tool, you'll be asked to type the max deviation. This number is the maximum distance any point of the new simplified curve is allowed to deviate from the original polyline. Let me try to explain. So this is an arc with 12 edges. And these three edges I just drew represent a simplified version of the original arc, right? An even more simplified curve would also be this one here with only two edges or two segments. The most distant point of the new curve from the original curve here 
is this one here deviating around 86 centimeters and here is much more it's 190 centimeters so the higher the number here the more simplified your curve will be let's try 50 centimeters and let's move the curve see that the deviation here is 43 centimeters and that's fine because it's less than the maximum of 50 that we've set okay so let's move on these last four tools are all quite similar because they all move selected vertices on a single direction or on a single 2d plane the first one moves all vertices of a selected curve on a direction connecting the first and the last vertex of the same curve so this first one makes vertices collinear on a single one dimension direction while the other three flat out the vertices on a single two-dimensional plane starting from the green blue plane then the red blue plane and finally the red green plane all these tools are very useful in cases where some of the vertices of your model are just slightly off axes and this can fix them very quickly I'd like to add here that there is a rather confusing name for these last three tools. Because the developer here uses the word collinear instead of coplanar, and it refers to one axis direction instead of referring to a two axis plane. That's why I found that most people have weird and unexpected results when using these tools. And that's because they all expect to have the result with all vertices collinear on one direction instead of having them on a single plane. So remember, this one collinear, the other three coplanar. Okay, that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this cool extension. I want to thank you all for watching and feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the description where Amongst other things, you can get access to a download section of all my models from all my old videos and all the videos to come. The lowest membership is just $1 per month and it would help me a lot to keep making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!